All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Twisted Fishing. Me and Sean went out and we bought a Quest Angler 10, which is the boat we are in currently right now. Now, this thing has a weight limit of 500 pounds. Pretty sure with me and Sean just by ourselves without any of our gear or 500 pounds. So, though it's rated for 500 pounds, this thing can hold a little bit more than that. Thank God. So, we bought this boat because that green john boat that we've been using it's getting kind of old the aluminum's getting kind of thin we couldn't really find one for a decent price new or used so we we're like what are our other options so we found this so we went and picked this up from dick sporting goods this boat is 799 dollars and 99 cents and me are gonna try this we put our old trolling motor on here we got a battery that we just picked up behind sean which you guys can't see right now a big battery and it comes it's, so far it's been pretty cool not gonna lie it's a little little bit more wobbly than the uh our regular john boat it's a little shorter but let's see if we can't get a couple fish in this boat break it in we'll let you know more about it as we utilize this boat a little bit more throughout the day so stay tuned and we'll tell you what we think of the boat as soon as we get done with today All right, guys, looks like we're packing it in. Uh, we did try to catch something today, but didn't catch anything. I even tried to lure our use the other day, and I caught three bass on it just a couple days ago. But uh, the only thing I really noticed, it is kind of small. You guys can tell I like putting my feet up on the edge, where if it was a slightly bigger, I'd have it you know, down the platform. And then there's no fishing hole spots, or whatever you want to call them, fishing pole holders in here in the back. Got two in the front, and there's only the two in the front. But besides having little indents into them, those are actually kind of nice that they're there. Uh, it's not really much of a stand up boat, I would not be consistently standing up in this boat. Yeah, if you don't have your sea legs, this is going to be really hard to stand up. Me and Sean are used to fishing with each other. If you're in here with another person and you guys aren't used to fishing with each other. One of you are gonna knock the other person in with how tipsy turvy this thing is. All in all, unless there's water in this boat right now, like inside the cavity, I think the boat's worth it. So if you guys wanna go pick it up, I think it's worth it. It's gonna cost a little bit more if you don't have a trolling motor or anything. I'm pretty sure a trolling motor is like a hundred something dollars at least. Plus your battery, that's gonna be a, like a hundred bucks or more. So you're looking at about $1,100 to get into this just to get the boat and everything ready and registration for this guys. We had to go to the, the notary and stuff to get this registered. It's a pain in the butt, I'm not going to lie. Like it's, cause there's no real classification for this even though it's called a John boat because it could be so many different things. Like it's got little pontoons underneath it, that's how this thing stays afloat. It could be a paddle boat because that's how you you can propel it. It could be considered uh, a John boat. What else did we look? Think it could be all oh, other. There's so many different classes that this could be under. So if you go get it registered, oh, and we did find out also that there is a something of origin certificate of origin. Oh yeah, certificate of origin. It's like kind of like a title. Yeah, there's like a certificate of origin that comes in the, pa the paperwork. When you buy the boat, make sure you take that out and have the, uh, the the store or whoever you bought it from sign it if you buy it brand new. Fill it out so this way you can go get it registered. If not, then you have to go all the way back like we did. We had to go all the way back and have the Dick Sporting Goods store manager sign all this paperwork then so we can go get it registered. All right guys, so the question you guys might have is, can one person move this boat in and out of like a truck, you know, a trailer for us, or a truck for you guys, you guys, because it's supposed to be able to fit in the back of the truck, you know, the width is supposed to fit. Yeah, the ticket would definitely have to be down for the length, but for the width, it's the, in the website, and I think on the paperwork inside, it says it can fit in the back of a truck, which is one of their major, why people want to buy it 
So that's what we're gonna try today. I'm gonna try to put a this John boat in the back trailer for us. Do we help you get it out of the water? Or are you gonna do it all? I'm gonna do it all right here. So my first idea is to try to pick it up from the center. Which you know, there's no handle in the front, so maybe some ropes. I think I think there is a lip there. Sean, I think there is a lip. There is, there's a lip right, right there. So the lip in the front, so I can probably drag it that way. Never mind, see he's gonna tell me some information. First side to try to pick it up from the center and then just flop it in kind of sideways, but first thing to stand it up on end. And then try to pick it up. You're on the struggle bus there, huh? Definitely not that way. Almost, but <laughs> so maybe you're stronger than me, you can do it that way. So, now the other way. Just to take the front of it, slide it up into the trailer. And just slide it in that way. <laughs> it's front of the freaking boat. Well, guys, this is his first time trying this too, by the way. So the struggle is first-hand experience. <laughs> I guess technically you got it loaded, but I'd rather it be flipped upside down. Why would you want it upside down? Doesn't make any difference. All right. All right, loaded. <laughs> Gotta strap it down. You guys got to watch Sean struggle. <laughs> like him catching fish. <laughs> yeah, you didn't catch anything else either here or anything today either. Oh, well, we're not gonna talk about that. We're just gonna talk about you. <laughs>